Now, in a bid to ensure active citizen participation in local governance, the Chamber of Local Governance is urging the leadership of various assemblies to constantly engage residents within their jurisdictions on developmental issues and the need to collectively drive community development. The Chamber believes that active citizen participation in the local assembly is crucial for its effectiveness. City News' Christopher Kevin Asima has more in the following report read by Emmanuel Opong. Assembly members who were recently elected into the district's level elections were sworn in on Monday, 12 February 2024, to commence their four year term. President Akufuado urged them to endorse government led local government development projects while fostering a harmonious working relationship with municipal chief executives. Some selected assembly members in an interview with City News expressed their willingness to develop their electoral areas. As an assembly member, I think our main uh, aim and focus is supposed to be to lobby for development within our electoral area, development vis a vis health, development vis a vis sanitation vis a vis education and then sports. So uh, our general aim is to instill proper sanitation practice within our communities. So even though the people always misconstrue to mean that when they say an assembly member, you are the one supposed to go around distorting the gutters. But the proper thing to do is that as an assembly member, I'm supposed to lobby for the assembly to come in and do keep proper sanitation of the place. Every constituency have electoral areas. So the money that they normally give to members of parliament or other support, they need to let some come to the assembly members. Because you know, normally the MPs, even though they are members of parliament, but they don't normally come to the community every day. So any problem at all that any member in the community face, they run quickly to the assembly man. This particular community is called Aplaku. It's beside Tima Market. It's within my electoral area. So they approach me that they are gutter as true. So I told them I'm mobilizing some fund. With the sun the same thing, it's not everybody who can do. So I mobilized them from Kaswa to Bodumbra. That is their work. So I normally call them to come and do. You see, when they finish, I have to pay them. Where the refuse will also go, I have to find a place to go and dump them. I will also pay. Some residents have expressed concerns over the ineffectiveness of the assembly, but expressed their willingness to participate in local development. The citizens' job does not end there after election. What needs to be done, I think, is for, uh, for us to push our elective, um, uh, how do you say it, uh, uh, authorities to do the job that needs to be done. If it's roads or if it's uh, bridges or, um, uh, so it's something that is, it's a, it's a continuous work that we need to keep working on. It just doesn't end after uh, election. Don't expect them to do what you, you vote them to do. Uh, after election, but you as a citizen need to keep pushing them, and that's how they'll get, uh, things will get done. It's not every time that we have to leave all the responsibility for the government. Of course, we pay property rates, we pay all kinds of taxes, but then, for example, in this our community, some of us have even taken ourselves as watchdogs in the area. When things go wrong, we try to come together and then we fix them from time to time. So I don't think we have to leave everything for the government to do. As community members, yes, the government is there. But every nook and cranny, they cannot go. So sometimes we being community members can just put our eyes on the ground, look in the area where there are problems and there are challenges. We come together as a group. We have over 275, about 275 constituencies in and the national cake is being divided among all these. Now when you break it down, in every electoral area or constituency, there are about 10 or more electoral areas. When you break it down, you're going to find that in, in an electoral area, there are about two or three communities. Can, every, can the, cost, uh, the assembly take care of all these com, uh, electoral areas with their communities? No. So if the communities are paying something small, if members are paying something small for certain, certain uh, development, I think there's nothing wrong with that. The president of the Chamber of Local Governance, Dr. Richard Fiadonomo, bemoaned what he described as the blatant exclusion of citizens in the local governance consultative structure. He sees it as an unfortunate that many assemblies do not engage with citizens, thereby presenting them from playing their roles. The citizens are fully aware of the local governance system. It's just that they are not interested in how the local governance system is functioning. To the extent that they pay the property rates, they pay the business operating permit, market tools, all the 
revenues that assembly asks them to pay, they are paying. And because the law is on the side of the assembly, if I do not pay, I will be sent to court and the court will summon me for me to come and pay. But unfortunately, we have a situation whereby the assemblies are not being socially accountable to the people. We have a situation whereby we, the citizens, we are major stakeholders of the assembly. So if you look at the Local Governance Act, it talks about citizens' participation. But as a citizen, I cannot just get to compare the assembly to participate in the activities. We expect the assembly to invite us as citizens for us to deliberate on issues. We are supposed to have town hall meeting, stakeholder engagement, even before the assembly brings about a budget. But what most assemblies do that they know that we have a, how do you call it, traders association, we have seamstress association, so they just go and talk to their leaders and then they think they have done stakeholder engagement. So because of that, the citizens see what the assembly is doing and what the assembly is not doing. And because of that, they get not to be interested in the activities of the assembly. We have a situation whereby I sit or we are in a community, before we see one day a contractor has come grading the roads, the roads become dusty. The assembly does not even pre-inform us that oh, this major road, we intend to come and do rehabilitation or reconstruct the road. For those of us who are around the roadside to reorient or reorganize our lives, we just see. So when all those things happen, we think the assembly does not care about us. So as a result of that, we are also not in interested in activities of the assembly. Many citizens have expressed disappointment with the leadership in the country over a lack of inadequate development with failures emanating from both political and local levels. The Bar Stop Boys, a citizen advocacy group, has taken it upon themselves to rally citizens to join in their efforts to clean the communities. We are Bar Stop Boys, we have policemen, <clears throat> we have uh, like people from all walks of life with their daily job. Like I'm saying, we have immigration officers, <clears throat> policemen, marketers, myself I'm into construction. So all these guys coming around to help in a way of promoting patriotism because that's our topmost priority. Awakening the mental consciousness of our people to the realization that yes, regardless of everything that we are, without the environment we cannot survive as a people. So we need to give the environment all the respect we give to anything else. You honestly, we pay you know all the taxes, even including boiler tax. But we are also looking at it from a perspective where they say an outbreak of malaria, cholera, flooding. No, normally those of us who get affected by these situations are the average Ghanaian like the viewer and myself. You know, we cannot afford going in and out of South Africa as though we are going to Kumasi Accra. So if we are the if we are the dying point of problems, then I think or we as Bastard Boys are saying that yes, it's about time we they are there, they are, they are not supposed to do what we all expect of them. But we cannot also blame them because they have the same mentality like you and I. 